all right guys welcome to my very first league race this race is hosted by grrl or the ghost riders racing league i was lucky enough to land myself a spot for season three on team ferrari uh, my teammate t wax very good everybody in this league is very very well everybody has some pretty good pace just a quick breakdown of how everything's going to work uh, we do short qualifying, so one session, and then the race is set to long. 29 laps, week one, Australia. Uh, we have three races that I believe are sprint races beforehand. So we'll do one shot qualifying, the sprint race, and then a full length race afterwards as well, um, which you guys will see in future videos. Also, just before we get into qualifying, I would just like to say I had a lot of issues with the game. Uh, it's some kind of bug. Hopefully they can fix it soon. Uh, the audio during the race completely crapped out on me. Uh, the audio during qualifying was good. Um, we'll just end up watching the replay that I saved of the race afterwards, and we'll kind of break it down, show you some highlights. All of the league info is on the GRRL Discord, which I will leave a link to in the description, followed by my Discord. I stream everything. Races are Sunday nights at... 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come hang out. We'll have some fun. Chit chat while we race. But yeah, let's jump right into qualifying for week one, Australia. All right, so here we come into lap one, first qualifying session. I was definitely a little nervous. Uh, Australia, definitely not one of my strong tracks as well. As we come hammering down the first straightaway here, getting a little bit of break back on the throttle, opening DRS. Kirby already somebody out of the session. My goal here was to be able to get at least four good solid laps in. Um, gradually increasing each time around as you can see we got a nice purple sector right there granted we are one of the first people out on the track now this turn coming up here i know there is definitely time to be gained but i just did not want to take the risk of driving over that right hand side curb maybe with a different setup would have been a little bit better. We get another purple sector in here. Coming around. Easy on the throttle. Shifting up into fifth. Again, not 100% confident in that turn itself. And as we see, come across with a 120. Not the best. Definitely not the best. Go in for a fresh set of tires. Uh, as you can see, my pace was off pretty badly. <laughs> Coming in for lap two here. A little bit stronger on the throttle. Opening DRS. Full speed. Full send. And somebody coming out of the pits off to our right. Get this first turn here a little bit cleaner on the throttle early getting the drs making sure we're getting it as soon as possible breaking super late here down the third up chip to fourth then the fifth and then this turn you can take flat out i tend to lift just a little bit again especially with that confidence right there come through here and unfortunately exceed track limits so we are gonna fly back as fast as we possibly can to the pits, throw on another set of tires, which leads us into lap number three. Now we only have a 120 on the board right now, and we're running out of time to put down a nice solid lap. So as we make our way down the straight, ooh, really heavy on the throttle. See, we're making up a decent amount of time from our very first lap. 
trying to get everything nice and smooth, making sure we're hitting the apexes. Nearly flat out for that turn on like our first two laps. Making sure we're not hitting any track limits. I, I found Australia on strict. Definitely is easy to get track limit very very easily i believe that last sector we just came through is glitched out a little bit and i also believe we lose a little bit of time here not too much it's not too bad but we're still moving pretty good another late braking zone upshift to fourth try to get on the throttle as quick as possible gaining make it up just a little bit of time and then we have a little bit of a hiccup here break a little too late on the fifth full power car scared the crap out of me come across the line and that brings us up to God, that four with that lap get out of there. so i decided to throw on another set of fresh tires our last set coming in hopefully we have just enough time i had to really rush out of the pits and get the tires nice and warm but we make it across the line to get one more one last shot and we're already doing good you can see the delta green what i like to see coming in super late break up chip the fourth really really trying to stay on the throttle and i believe i go flat out this time oh i lifted a little bit I lifted just a, a tiny little bit, but look at that time. We're really, really shaving some tenths off this lap. We're really going for it. Was really looking to start P4 or better, but we end up losing a little bit of time coming down this back straightaway here, going into sector three. very crucial not to hit that curb on the inside maybe just the slightest little bit but too much we'll just send the car straight forward we lost a lot of time there but we're making it back up we hit that second to last turn coming down flat out we didn't make up much time still gonna end up in p5 for qualifying but it was better than eighth like our first lap. And as you can see, I'm probably about a second off pace of where I should be, but let's jump right into the race. All right, so now we're getting into our formation lap. Um, definitely felt the nerves starting to settle in right before the race. I was happy to make it through qualifying without crashing or getting disqualified, but definitely struggled on the formation lap here to get some heat into my tires. Um, I didn't really wanna do any kind of crazy burnouts to really get some heat into the back tires. Uh, I was very nervous about spinning out, uh, practicing this track in Grand Prix, like, Grand Prix, whatever you want to call it, GP mode was a little bit of a struggle each time, especially after you pit, trying to get heat into your tires, uh, you know, unless you're going to the soft, softs really aren't that bad. Um, I definitely could have changed the setup a little bit more, probably could have lowered my tire pressures, but they were already pretty low and I didn't want to wear the tires out as much as really just didn't you know want to keep it to a minimum want to be able to go and extend the stint as long as I need to because uh, you never know what's going to happen during the race and we will see exactly what I'm talking about just a little bit later on in the video but as you can see you know only getting up to 83 degrees celsius i think we do a little bit of a burnout towards the end but nothing nothing crazy now 
as we're rolling up grid kind of fell back a little bit everyone's leaving a little bit of room i did just a little burnout you know trying to play it safe don't want to be the guy that crashes into the wall on the formation lap to be pretty embarrassing coming up to the starting grid and we mess it up by 0.1 point 0.1 we mess it up but as we get ready to roll here five red lights and the race is on the way terrible terrible start didn't have a lot of heat my tires was super nervous trying to make sure i'm keeping some space between everybody a couple people running through the grass coming through made it through the first turn big wreck big big wreck right in the beginning of the race just missed it as you can see we got tapped from behind too coming in there and we are already into a virtual safety car and let's just take a look at that start uh, we're coming through we don't have the best start trying to leave space for everybody a couple people coming through the grass and then a little weave a red bull it's taken out i think he hits another hash driver loses his front wing we get tapped from behind but make it unscathed unfortunately right into a virtual safety car not a terrible definitely not a good start but it wasn't an absolute disaster for myself unfortunately it was a little messy this whole race was a little chaotic um, as you'll see further down the line here, but we held fifth position. I'll take it. Now with the virtual safety car ending, which is another thing definitely have to work on trying to keep that Delta to a minimum so we can get a really good restart after each lap, but we're back at it. Gonna try to chase down P4 and try to work our way up my whole main goal here is just to be nice and consistent try to keep a good pace I'm still new to the Formula One franchise I've played a little bit of 2019 oh as you can see Poozer spins out gives us P4 and we will continue on no safety car no virtual safety car either which is nice only lap two unfortunately fiction out of the race probably from the incident on lap one but we're you know we're trying to keep up we're trying to keep up main goal right now for me would be to get into DRS range uh for when it's enabled the next lap that was that was definitely going to be the biggest biggest goal besides making it through the full race like i said i was very very nervous spent a lot of time practicing during the week and just really had some issues i believe uh we got another virtual safety car out right now just getting ready for that restart trying to keep the delta to a minimum and i believe when we come up on this first straight we might be ready to go as you can see that gap shot up from a second and a half almost a, a full second trying to keep as much speed as i possibly can and we're back to green coming in i uh, will skip a couple laps ahead a uh, whole lot of nothing was going on just us trying to make up some time DRS is finally activated should just be in DRS range now unfortunately on lap 9 Merlin spins out which gives us P3. 
like I said, the entire race, I was just trying to be as consistent as possible. Making sure we weren't exceeding track limits, not getting any penalties, uh, very cautious when entering into the pits. I think consistency on each track, each weekend, is going to be key to trying to stay at the top between driver points and also the Constructor Series as well. So as you can see, we got a safety car out now. Full safety car. My teammate pits. And I also had the perfect opportunity. It was a little bit earlier than I wanted to switch. I didn't really want to go to the hard tires this early. I wanted to pit around lap 15. But we had the opportunity. We had a good good lead above everybody. As you can see, double stacking. Teammate got out just in time. Didn't really mess us up. Didn't hold the car up. Had a nice quick pit coming right out. And then on what happens next is very unfortunate it's, it's very very unfortunate we have two laps of just pacing around waiting for everyone to catch up to the safety car and then this happens so i know the game can kind of bug out it automatically slows that first person down if they get too close to the safety car my teammate slows down i slow down to avoid him unfortunately somebody hits me in the back probably got front wing damage unfortunately just it happens uh, you know it it sucks it sucks to see but as you can see from the sky cam over here everybody kind of just gets bunched up i get tapped in the back and then right after that we have a lapped car between my teammate who's in second place and the guy in first place and for some reason, the lap car slows down. He loses his front wing, which is super, super unfortunate because Team Ferrari was having a wonderful race. We'll just take a look at that again. I probably could have slowed down a little bit earlier. Come around, thought everything was good. Get tapped from behind. And then right here is where my teammate loses part of his front wing. And I almost get taken out in the process all from a lapped car but we're getting ready to go back into our restart here trying i was trying to stay as close as possible to get a good start so we could kind of take off get away from the grid but didn't have the best restart my tires were ice cold in the back i, I was a little nervous to get on the throttle coming out of that turn turn on ERS our teammates already four and a half seconds ahead of us but we're moving and grooving trying to get back into it and I believe there was a virtual safety car maybe about halfway through this lap which again unfortunate it happens uh like I said the actual race audio when we were in this was very messed up so i'm going based off of the replay it'd be really nice if they could add uh you know like a dash uh, like a dash cam to it so you could see all your actual gearing and stuff like that you could have your your ods or on-screen display back it'd be really really nice if that was in the replay feature i'm gonna kind of mess around hopefully we can figure something out here but there it is virtual safety car coming back out unfortunately having to slow down a decent amount just so we don't break that delta as you can see my teammate still right right in front of me still hanging in there with that wing damage i probably would have pitted but he is uh he is definitely a lot better than me he's got a lot better car control i give him a lot of credit for for hanging in there as long as he could I think it's very important early on here to try to just stay consistent finish the race get top 10 trying to get points We've got two people out now in the race and I believe 
the virtual safety car should be ending soon and we'll be getting back to racing just right, right here is where it ended we should be back to full speed nope not yet almost almost i think i jumped the gun a little too much there i definitely jumped it there and it made me slow down that gap between me and my teammate jumped all the way up to seven seconds at one point and now we're back to full green tires that it, it, the only good thing about the safety car and the the virtual safety car was it allowed time to get my tires up to temperature not full temperature but instead of having that ice cold you know three quarters of a lap really we'll say lap and a half with the hards especially on australia it, it really gave some time to get some heat in my tires and i think that played a a, a big part in me being able to keep p3 for a decent amount of this race as we're coming in lap 15 after a, a long safety car a long virtual safety car as well almost for a lap and a half moving along doing good we're catching our teammate now we got to remember he's got a damaged front wing still a lot quicker than me <laughs> very very fast but we're doing our best to try to keep up. The goal is P1, as always. Always. Always got to go for P1, right? Now, the goal is really to have a clean rest of the race, make sure we keep pace, uh, keep everybody else behind us, try to hold Griswold back a little bit. Um, we don't... We don't want him to get... DRS once it is reactivated um and I know T-Wax here has a damaged front wing I'm doing my best to kind of catch up to him and get around him unfortunately just didn't have the speed didn't have the pace really to kind of keep up with him but we're catching him slowly and surely just taking our time making sure we're not overdoing the throttle we don't want to break super late if we don't have to try to save our tires save our ERS as much as possible and you can see here now we're really really on the back of our teammate and he's gonna pull over let us go because he knows we got a little bit more pace just because his wing is damaged it's very unfortunate um I really think he could have took p1 I think he would have kept up with our leader but yeah start at p5 up to p2 definitely definitely not bad definitely not bad at all just trying our best to race nice and clean as you can see i've believe we have a little mess up right here nothing crazy luckily we didn't spin out but i think we're gonna jump ahead here onto the last couple laps because from here on out it was relatively a pretty spaced out rate uh, i know the map's not on screen but there was a nice comfortable gap between everything um as you can see my teammate dropping down another position down to p4 unfortunately with that wing damage i'm doing my best to try to catch first place but uh his pace was just it was beautiful uh, he, he had a beautiful race 10 seconds ahead of me 10 seconds unbelievable unbelievable speed from a lot of the players in this lobby a lot of the players in this lobby very very impressive
and again my main goal was just to be consistent i think when i was doing gp mode i probably earlier in the week while i was practicing was averaging i want to say 120 to 122 on mediums with a uh, full fuel load that that's how i like to practice is just you know once a day run a, a quick practice session to warm up to do the qualifying uh and then crank the ai up and just do a race try different pitch strategies try different tire options um really just try to figure out exactly what i want to do for the race um and as you could see you know we had a safety car a couple of virtual safety cars already very early on in the race and it changed up the whole strategy i i originally wanted to pit start on the mediums and and pit lap 15 or 16 probably lap 16 at most i didn't really want to overextend the mediums um to try to give me some fresher tires once we switched over to the hards but it just it didn't work out uh you know we, we had that safety car we had an optimal time to pit uh worked out very well for us um and yeah i, I mean i even was trying starting on mediums and going to lap 20 and then pit lap 20 for soft tires it's definitely doable but you lose almost a full second in pace coming in from like lap 15 to 20 so five laps of losing that much time is just a little too much and i didn't really want to take the risk of spinning out um i tried it for two or three races during the week and able to do it but that's also against ai you, you never know what you're going to run into when you get to a multiplayer lobby especially with everybody being very competitive but we're, we're at a solid pace here you know first place is definitely gaining a at least half a second maybe almost a second a lap on us at this point uh tire wear wasn't terrible the car felt pretty good uh we're holding back third so they can't get any drs and then let's jump down to the final two laps of the race and i thought this was i you know i i wouldn't have done this personally i wouldn't have done this but this was a a very confident move right here uh the man in p1 pits for a set of soft tires he had about a 20 second gap on myself so i don't blame him if i don't know if his tires were getting too worn out i don't know what the situation was maybe he just wanted to go for fastest lap which i know he ended up getting in this but my goal right now for the next two laps is to just not spin out drive very cautiously i you know the guy in third place behind me i, I got a almost three and a half second gap on him i'm feeling real comfortable real confident and like I said, the goal, consistency. I want to finish every race this season. I don't want any DNFs. As you can see, he's just probably getting his tires up to temperature now. And we were kind of catching him. We were, we were slightly closing that gap. But now that his tires are warmed up, this last lap, he sends it. He sends it. And I believe he got the fastest lap uh on this final lap here don't remember fully i didn't didn't go back and watch my stream but definitely definitely an interesting race to say the least uh a little chaotic at times um especially on that safety car restart right before that uh, i was very unfortunate um hopefully our next one will go a little bit smoother as you can see a lapped car crashing out on our last lap again very unfortunate but coming through our second sector in here was very very nervous the first couple laps was very nervous the audio issue that i was having was driving me crazy you know it's it's almost a 45 minute to an hour race 
uh, with 29 laps and having that lawnmower sound of just choppy audio the entire time messed me up so bad not going to use it as an excuse or anything like that but it it just made a uh, nerve-wracking first league race for myself even more nervous take it nice and easy coming out of that last final turn and we're going to cross the line in p2 couldn't have been happier unfortunately you know my teammate losing his front wing could have been a very very good day for ferrari i think we would have came uh p2 and p3 uh possibly p1 and p3 i don't think i had a chance to catch that red bull driver but we definitely definitely could have held us together there and got us some very very strong points for the constructors series but with that said guys i'll leave you with the scoreboard here as you can see our our best lap was a 123 i was very very nervous very nervous but thank you guys for watching 